In this video, we're going to add a heading to our header. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, and this will serve as the logo for our web page. So let's go ahead and take care of that. So let's go ahead and add a heading, and I'll just copy and paste in here. We're going to use H3. We've already used up H2 and H1 in the previous tutorials. It doesn't matter. You can arrange these in any way you want. Some people want to make this H1, but I don't really care either way. Um, but we're going to use H3, as I said, because we've already used H2 and H1. So we'll save this, and we'll open up our web page. And as you can see, now we need to style this because this is stuck up here in the top left. So we'll go all the way to the bottom here where our heading section is. And I'll copy and paste in here. And now we've got our H3 rule set. And I'll copy and paste our first set of rules in here. And so we're going to increase the font size by 250% because this is going to be our logo sized text. So we want this to really stand out. We want to center this text. We want this to be right in the center of our header. And we're going to use this for the color of the text. It's kind of a nice off white. And I like to use Century Gothic for the font. So let's save this and let's open up our web page. And there you can see we've got our nice logo now. But it's stuck at the top and we'll deal with that in a minute. Now you will notice that 10 pixels of margin were added. And uh, this is a little strange, but what happened here was that this H3 element actually inherited from uh, the header up here, this 10 pixels on the top apparently. So what we need to do is set the margin to zero pixels down here. And that will ensure that our H3 element now adds no extra pixels to the margin. You can see it's back to normal. So we have this horizontally centered. Now what we need to do is center this vertically. And that is a little bit complex. And so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll make uh, an extra space down here to copy and paste the new rules in. And there they are. And these are the CSS rules that are going to vertically align our text as well. So let's save this. And let's open this up now. And there you can see we've got this nice logo now and it's vertically aligned. Now one thing I want to point out is that a lot of websites these days are using lowercase for the text in their logo. So that's kind of what's going on today. So that's why I kept this all in lowercase. Now some people will capitalize this. I'll leave it up to you but I like to keep everything lowercase because that's kind of the trend today. So let's close this out. Now in terms of these rules right here, this is for uh, a more advanced tutorial to explain how this works. You don't need to really understand this right now. All you need to know is that these five rules will always vertically align your text. So you could actually reuse these without really having to know how they work. But again, relative positioning is quite complex and I will do a future tutorial on how this works along with this uh, transform property. But again, you could reuse these, these exact five rules, to vertically align any text you want. So let's go ahead and save everything up. And that is it for this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next tutorial when we will deal with the footer. See you guys then.